Hey YouTube, this is Super Zemus, and welcome back from a t uh, from the holidays to uh, let's play Final Fantasy. Well, let's get let's get that crown and whoa! Fight new enemies. Um, you can encounter about four of these guys, Pisco demons. They had uh, un um in the NES version they were called wizards. Despite their um, NES name and their look, they don't cast magic, but they have a really high physical attack, so we want to take care of them. They have also pr have pretty high um, magic defense, but they have a slight weakness to thunder, so let's cast that on them and just go all out the... Oh, why not? Let's heal up... Um, our monk up. All right. Yeah. See, they have. Oh, ouch. Okay. Yeah, they're gonna. But they, they'll go down pretty easy. I mean, I mean, I'm making this look a little, a little bit easier than it actually is. And in here we have the crown let's return that to that one guy who wanted that the king of western keep yeah but also those um pisco demons they, they can get a little abusive they have 81 hp that's right or 80 i think 81 either that or 80 it, it's in the 80 to 82 range but anyway i will meet you back at western keep so i will be right back all right, I'm back, and we're back here at Western Keep. Um, I went and healed up at Elfheim. Something I forgot to mention about those Pisco demons. Um, okay, so you know where the um chest is, where the crown is, and when you walk right in front of it, that's where you encounter the Pisco demons on a fixed encounter point. That is a point where um, when you step on it, you will automatically get thrown into a battle, and that was a um, Pisco Demon fixed encounter point. I will mention most of the encounter points. Uh, I should be able to. Alright, well, let's get in. Hey, we bought you that crown. Maybe we can exchange it for, um, some idea where Astos is. Wh why are you laughing? <laughs> what? What'd I do? Oh, whoops. Aw, oh, crap. So, so, whoa, whoa, uh oh, that doesn't look good. Crap. Oh. Uh oh. Don't kill me. No, you can't. Ah. All right. Well, here we go into the Battle of Astos. Um, fair warning: when you go into this battle, there is a um move he knows. R well, in the NES version, it was Rub, but I can't remember the name of it in this version. Um, it's uh, an automatic, uh, automatic one-hit kill. Gotta watch out for that. That's a pretty dangerous move. So, here, let me make a save state. All right, ready? All right, so now this is my first attempt at it. I will bring I will bring you um the real thing when I get to it. All right. So this is Doc Brown and my first attempt all of the time machine. Let's get started. So first off, just attack with him. I suggest casting um haste on your warrior. And, uh, he has a pretty high physical defense, too, so, magic, uh, maybe cast and protect on your, um, white mage. Hopefully I can live through this. Come on. Alright, got my haste up. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Okay, he didn't cast the move. Let's see if I can... Ooh, I'm dealing a lot of damage. Protect, though. Attack. Maybe cast haste on your monk now. Attack. Invis. No, he's not casting it. 
that's nice. Maybe I can get it on my first try. That would be nice. Oh, look at that. Double your hits. Oh my gosh, I actually beat him on my first try. All right. All right. That's good. That is good. I, I didn't think I'd beat him on my first try. Well, there you go. All right. Now, we have the crystal eye. All right. On my first try, too. I, I thought I'd go through a few when, when he stopped casting his bad magic everything. I actually beat him on the first try. All right, all right. So, well, now I'll meet you with the crystal eye. We want to give that back to Matoya. So, I will meet you at the dock next to Elfheim. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Well, let's get going to um, Matoya's cave now. Here, I'll show you a shortcut to there. Just follow me, and um, we find Cornelia again. Then we'll just go under that lovely bridge that the king built for us. And we make it to the dock right here. So, so we're all good there. Let's get to Matoya's cave. Alright, so how's everyone doing? It is, um, 26th, the day I'd be back from Christmas, and I had a, lo a lovely, um, holiday season this season. It was a great season. Hey, Matoya, here's your eye. It seems kind of awkward telling someone, we have your eye, here you go, want your eye back? Seems kind of awkward. Oh, good, good. I'm not going to give that to you for free. you got to give me something. Oh, good. What is it? The Jolt Tonic. Well, let's go give that to the prince. I will meet you at Elfheim Castle. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, and here we are at Elven Castle. Let's get that Jolt Tonic to the prince. Why don't wake him up? Is the jolt tonic. Oh, fine. Don't take it. We'll just get out of here. No, no. What you have to do is give it to the healer. Yes, we need to wake him up. Try it. Bright light. I told you not to go through it, Lola. Through its light. Your Highness. He's awake. Oh. Yes, you're still dreaming. Go back to sleep, young one. Uh, no, no. We just said the... Cor the Cornelia King just said that. News travels faster than we do, apparently. Yes, give us the mystic key. We want more treasure. We want to loot your place. And we get the Mystic Key, so that's nice. And now it's time to go on a treasure hunt. Yay, I brought peace back to Elfheim. You're welcome. Well, let's get going here. Let's start with looting um, Elfheim Castle. Just go down. Oh, crap, no. Alright, there we go. I hate it when I do that. Alright, well, let's go in here. Get a mithril hammer. Oop, no. 800 gill. Bronze gloves. And 700 gill. Alright. Want to. I'll, I'll equip that to. Um, let's see. The mithril hammer goes to the um, white mage, and the bronze gloves will go to the warrior. So I'll equip that off screen. Meet me at, um, Western Keep. Alright, here we are. Let's get going to the treasure room here. So how'd everyone's, um, how'd everyone's holiday season go? I had a really nice one. Um, I was able to get, um, Professor Layton and The Last Spectre. I'm a real fan of the Professor Layton games. Alright, so here we have more encounter points. Fixing counterpoints. Um, in the middle here are with wraiths, and on the sides are mummies. 
So I will demonstrate the Wraith battle first. Here we go. And they're weak to Dia and Fyra. They can also, um, I believe they can paralyze you with their physical, or no, yeah, they can paralyze you with their physical attacks. Not too much to worry about because they're low HP. We get Falchion. Uh, not a very good sword. We'll find a better one soon. Now, there is a way to avoid these battles. You can just opening, open these chests from the side, but I, I want the EXP, so let's fight the mummies now. The mummies. They can put you to sleep with their physical attacks, but also weak to fire and Dia, like every other undead enemy. Let's get that going. Alright, see, that's what I mean, they can put you to sleep. Don't we? We still have Dia on the right way. They have a really high physical uh, attack, too, so watch out for that. Alright, gained a level. Fast forward. Alright, we get the Power Staff. That's good for the... Oh, crap. Sorry, I went into the battle again. I'm just gonna forget the mummy battle. Steel gloves. All right, equip that to your um, knight. Yeah. So I'm running out of time now. So um um I guess I will next time we will um loot the rest. Go to the rest of the places we need to uh, treasure hunt, and we'll explore the next town as well. So this is Super Zemus, and I will see you guys next time.